you guys it's bria simone here welcome welcome back but before we get into this hair hold on let's just pause for a second okay i just want to take a moment and say thank you so much for the amount of support that i have been receiving and i just want to say hey to my new subbies and we're almost at 100 so yeah i'm excited and also comment more so we can build that bond i want to talk to you guys more and hear from you and what else do you want me to do you know and most importantly give thanks to god because without him none of this would be possible and for me to even start a youtube channel all him y'all <laughs> but yeah i just have to give thanks and i definitely want to get more personal and build that bond between me and you guys so yeah but let's get into this video right now as you can see i'm applying vaseline around like the perimeter of my nana's head and also her ears just to protect her skin from the relaxer so i'm applying gloves that comes with the kit and i'm using the olive oil brand and right now I'm using the stick to apply the first layer of the perm and I section off her hair because, you know, of course it's easier and it's been a long time since she had her um, last relaxer. So it's, it's been quite some time. I don't even remember. I think it was sometime last year. <laughs> it's been a minute. So this is not a tutorial, but um, I'm just smoothing it out. You just section, apply, and smooth it out. And you want to kind of work fast, but, you know, of course, not too fast because you want to make sure you're smoothing the hair out and you're working it in to straighten it. So, but yeah, you don't want to work too slow because this is a chemical and you don't want it sitting on the hair for too long. So now we're all done and I'm just smoothing it out and I let it sit for a little while but not too long for about maybe 10 more minutes. Now I'm applying the conditioner that was provided in the box and now I'm going to detangle her hair and after that we're going to rinse it out. I also like the fact that it just relaxed my Nana's hair and it didn't cause her to have bone straight hair. It still has texture to it and a little you know curl pattern. It's, it's not there but it's there still <laughs> but yeah. Um, it just makes it easier for my Nana to manage her hair because, you know, she struggles with that. 
I forgot to mention that I also used the shampoo that was provided in the box to wash the relaxer out. Okay, so now we're just rinsing the conditioner out. So I'm applying the Chi Straight Guard on her hair before I blow dry it and it's more like a conditioner consistency to me. So that's why I apply it while her hair is wet before we blow dry it and then I apply the Chi Serum before I straighten it. So yeah, but now I'm going to blow dry her hair section by section.
after using the chi serum i'm going to strain her hair using the chasing method and she does have some breakage in the back her hairdresser that layers her hair said that it might be from her wearing ponytails all the time i don't know what exactly the cause of her breakage but we are working on it it was actually worse than this so it is growing <laughs> so yeah it's just a work in progress but we're going to get there and I'm just gonna straighten her hair section by section. And also, please don't mind my flat iron. I know it looked like it's been struggling. It's been going through it. It looks like I've been cooking food with this straightener, but I promise you I wasn't, okay? <laughs> but not for real. I am looking into more or better quality flat irons. Um, I definitely would not use this on future clients, okay? <laughs> so we just working with what we got right now, okay? All right. If you want more of a detailed tutorial type of video on how to get that silk press look, go watch my second to last video on how to get a silk press on natural hair at home. Okay, just go to my page or actually the video will be provided at the end of this video. So right now I'm going to go in and curl her hair. I'm curling the bottom of her hair looser because it's shorter than the rest of her hair, so it'll blend better. But as I go up to the top of her head, the curls does get tighter, and afterwards I'm going to finger comb it.
So my Nana doesn't like tight curls, so she likes more of a loose, wavy type of curl, so I'm going to comb through her hair. All right, y'all, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.